good morning. I'm headed to Oak Muggin Management Area. It's October 21st. I'm going to meet a guy named Jed Hughes. I'm going to hook up and do a little scout and try to find a place to hunt this morning. I'm going to a complete new place. Don't know anything about it. So we're going to wing it today. Made quite a bit of noise getting in here. But we're in a good spot, I think. We got some squirrels knocking a few acorns out behind us in the open woods. Got a little draw. There's a ridge coming from the east. And a ridge coming from the south. Wind's blowing out into the open woods from here. When you turn around, I got some white oak acorns right in the edge of this thick stuff. And there's a pine plantation right here on the, behind us, on top of a ridge. You can see the pine edge right there. I can see out into that pine edge and I can see deer trails everywhere. Just a maze of them right here under the tree. I got, looks like hog beds. If those are deer beds and they've been wearing it out in here up on this hump, probably hogs. But on the other side of this pines is a hardwood draw with two more ridges leading up to this spot. A lot of people call this a crow foot. If it ain't good right now, it will be during the rut. You see a lot going on right here. We gonna settle down, get quiet, see what happens. We got some squirrel hunters not far from us. So, if nothing else, they ought to run every deer to us. They ain't far. And they light the woods up with them shotguns. Must be a bad shot. So what do you think about this place, Jed? This is a completely new place. You and I, neither one have ever been in here. Yeah. Scouted in here. Found some acorn trees. Hog sign. A lot of hog sign. A lot of goat sign. What do you think about it? I think it's going to be good in the rut. Why? Because you got a lot of doves coming through here. <laughs> you got a lot of doe activity. That's right. Fresh and old droppings everywhere. That's it. That's so, it. So. A lot of places to run around chase them at too, you know. You got a lot of edges coming yeah. together right here. Yeah. How many acorn trees is going to be dropping here in the next few weeks? Well, there's about 15 right here where we're standing. <laughs> and three of them are loaded down, got the le uh, limbs bent over yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You could yeah. spot them and didn't even need buying those. You could get some meat right here. It's your grocery store. In the rut, if some of these acorns will hold on and these deer still hold up in here, you still got a lot of browse, everything that a, a deer needs. Yeah. And it don't get hunted a lot. No. This don't get hunted a whole lot. So. Yeah, I, I didn't see any human, you know, cans or stuff like that laying around anywhere. I just seen a skull tobacco can at the base of some guy's tree stand. I don't know whose that was. Do you have any idea who I that was? I got no idea whose it was, but I'm sure it made enough noise to run off the deer from your stand. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like I could falling through the limbs. <laughs> it, no. it had a unique sound to hey, it. Hey, but you know something? I, I, I promise you, sometimes when you go in, you think, man, I just made the most racket going up a tree that I could possibly make, and that's when you're going to see something. I've had, weird. I've had buck deer come run to me thinking I may be a, a rubbing on a tree, or I don't know what they think. Maybe they think it's two bucks sparring. Cut a limb. But, but yeah, cutting limbs, cutting shaking, limb. shaking bushes. Mm -hmm. But that metallic noise, I'll lock them up, buddy. Yeah. Well, it just locked that one deer I had up. I don't know where it went after that. We don't know about the rest of them because didn't it? <laughs> it, it probably went over and told the rest of them, hey, don't go over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do a little scouting. I 
think uh, it, it's, uh, it's like that all the way down this hill and around, but there's some hogwood back over in here. And the hogs have been tearing it up in here. Yeah. Well, Jed had to leave about 2 o'clock, so I decided to hang around and take a tour of the place and look for some spots I'd never been to before. I run across this little cemetery, and I thought to myself, man, I wonder how old these graves are. All they got is rocks for headstones. If these places could talk, can't help but wonder. Did a little bit of scouting, jumped a few deer, but then I decided to head on back to a spot I knew about where a persimmon tree is and hopefully it's got persimmons and dropping. Well, I'm trying to sneak up on my tree and I guess this deer heard me walking. Anyway, I got a deer over about 50 yards. It's a doe. I'm gonna watch her and see what she does. Hopefully she'll go off the end of that ridge away from me. I'm really close to where I want to set up. It's hard to be quiet in here. I might try to get her on film. I'd stand up to do it. If I do that, she might bust me. Well, she got downwind of me and took off. She ran back into the... She didn't snort or nothing, so that's good. As soon as she left, I got up in the tree quickly and... This happened almost immediately afterwards. You know, I'm sitting in a persimmon tree, and I was just telling somebody the other day that about all I see on a persimmon tree is coyotes. That was a big old coyote, and he come in dead behind me. I couldn't get a shot on him. By the time I got my bow up, got turned around, got the camera turned on, he was dead under the tree sniffing where I climbed up. I'm sitting in the persimmon tree. Probably not the best idea, but... I wished I could have got an arrow in that joker. That was a really big coyote. I thought that deer smelled me a while ago when I was worried. I'm like, how in the world did she smell me? Because that good wind was in my favor. Now I know what she saw. When she ran off, I came over and climbed up this tree. I ain't been here three minutes. Here comes a coyote. Guys, I'll tell you a secret. If you can climb a tree with a deer and a coyote, less than a hundred yards from you in these open woods like this then you're stealthy if not you need to work on it a little bit take it slow be quiet don't make no noise it'll pay off just out of curiosity do y'all see more deer or more coyotes sitting on persimmon trees tell you the truth i'm a little undecided just to give y'all a little update Jed snuck back out there to the spot we went to while I had to go to work and got him a little bit of meat for the freezer. Congratulations, Jed. Mm -hmm.